All right, so we're getting started on dinner now. I have some spaghetti noodles. I'm gonna try to make a pasta um, with some garlic and butter and mushrooms and scallions. Hopefully that turns out good. And what we're doing is a seafood bowl. So I have, what is this? We have the shrimp here. We have the snow crab clusters. Um, and we have our lobster tails. Here. We got two eggs. Two I want... lobster tails and we're gonna boil some eggs. I'm actually gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna boil some eggs. Some so we have the shrimp here. We have the lobster tail. I'm kind of showing it. I'll take it out of the bags in a second. This is the crab legs. And this is our other lobster tail. Right now we have our noodles in here. And we're going to make a pasta to go with this bowl. I was going to do rice, but I want to try something a little different. So we're going to try a little pasta. So today I'm going to try out this six quart um, pan here. I got it from Raw. So in the eggs now, get ready to drain the pasta. So I don't have like um, virgin olive oil, so I'm going to try to use this for the pasta. I have my oil there. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the eye. I have scallions and I have onions and I have my minced garlic that I'm using here. Alright, so the garlic is gone. I'm going to go ahead and put in the onions and the scallion in just a little bit. I'm going to let these dry on just a little bit. Alright, so this is what it's looking like right now. Let me turn this on. This is what it looks like. I'm going to drop in the onions. I'm also going to drop some baby Bella um, sliced mushrooms in as well. Alright, so everything's in. Mushrooms, onions, and garlic. Just going to let it cook down for just a little bit. And then we'll toss it with the spaghetti noodles and add Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we're going to use a little Creole Parmesan cheese, Adelaide salt, and salt and pepper. Right, so I found this, and this is what I'm going to use to um, actually toss the noodles in. Alright, so this is pretty much done. I'm going to take these out now. So, I have my noodles there. I'm going to put this in with the um, deli dressing I just found and the seasoning. So we're going to try that first. The eggs are now on and boiling. We're moving on to the next step here. The eggs are on. The pasta is done. We're going to top it with some scallions and some more Parmesan cheese. I just gave it a taste and it was really good. So again, I used um, the deli dressing here. Creole seasoning. Grinded up some black pepper. And I have some salt. Alright, so you can add spice to this as well, but nobody, um, I want to make sure the kids can eat it, but you can add like the uh, red pepper flakes, you can add red cayenne pepper, anything really um, to it, smoked paprika, I mean anything will be good, you can make it your own. Okay, so now while the eggs are cooking, I'm going to prepare the um, boil part, so I'm just going to add some seasoning to this water, and that's where we're going to put everything in. We're going to use a little paprika, a little celery flakes. We're going to use a little original Creole. And I do have like just a little old base. We'll probably use the rest of this. And I have an onion and I have garlic that I'm going to drop in here. And I also have some salt. And my usual pepper. So that's what's going into the actual full part of this. Because we, we didn't get a chance to go to the store to get the uh, ball packet that I would like to use. So we just have to go with this. A little bit of the Old Bay is going in now. I'm going to save a little bit the season at the end. So just a little bit left in there. I want to save that for the end. He's going to put a little bit of Creole. Don't put a lot of this because it can get spicy. Do just like that. One more time. Okay. It's not coming across. It looks more gray, but it's really. So we're going to put a little bit of I that. I am about spicy. Yeah. Put a little paprika in there. This one. They're both paprikas. Paprika goes in. Let's turn that off a little bit. Got it? Put your heart in there. Dump it. A little bit right sprinkle keep going doing so good mm -hmm. well, all right that's, that's good changed the whole color of the thing that's what we want
little celery here. Just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit. No more of that. But you can put just a little bit. Salt is going in. Okay, drop that in. We're dropping in the onion now. I'm going to get a little garlic next. All right, okay, so we have our garlic here. He's going to put that in. Good job. Okay, so I right, know one more thing of garlic, and that's pretty much it. We're going to put the corn in first, and then everything else, the seafood to go in. Okay. Okay, Riley's going to add the corn in for us. I want to gently, because I don't want to splatter any of it. Very good. I think we're going to put all of them in there. Maybe put four in there. Yeah, that's probably. And is I don't have a lemon either. Completely forgot the lemon. And I thought I had some lemon juice. I don't even have that. But that would have been good with some lemon in here. Ooh. I'm loving our new pan. Pot. Good. Good. Keep going. Very good. See? All right, so we're going to put that in a little bit. So our corn is in. And we're getting ready to put this on the stove to start the boil process. Yummy! All right, so this is the seafood that we're using. Crab legs, lobster tails, and shrimp. We're going to rinse everything off. And once we're actually boiling all of this, we'll put it in the pot. All right, so the boil is on. All right, the eggs are out. I'm going to actually going to be doing something fun with these eggs. So I'm going to peel the skin in just a little bit once they cool. Just seasoned the crab legs. The kids helped me, so it's a lot of seasoning. It's paprika and Creole seasoning. Uh, we have our shrimp here. These shrimps are big. These are like, I went to Sprouts and they were huge, if you guys can tell. I've never had shrimp this huge before, so. Excited. So that's our shrimp there so i'm going to clean these like i did the crab legs and lobster tails and season those as well all right so i'm just going to put some paprika on the shrimp and the i think i'm going to go ahead and drop in the lobster tails and the crab legs cook the shrimp last and that's what i'm going to do We used a little Italian vinaigrette in the pasta. So good. This is the bowl currently. We did add two more eggs because um, I wanted to add more eggs for my um, fried bowl egg part. So I decided to just go ahead and boil some more in here. And now I'm going to drop in the lobster tails first and then the crab legs and the shrimp. Okay, the lobster tails are in. I'm going to continue cooking now. So now I'm going to drop in the crab legs. The crab legs are now in. We're going to add the shrimp in just about a minute or so. I'm going to let all this cook a little bit. Then I'm going to put the um, shrimp in. My eggs are all peeled now. Of course, not the prettiest job done. But they're peeled. So I'm not going to put them in the freezer to prepare them for frying. Alright, I dropped the shrimp in. We're almost done with this. It's going to be so good. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make the little butter now. So I have some... Um, I have butter sticks, I have some scallions, and I'm going to use garlic powder and minced garlic for this. Alright, so this is what I have, just garlic powder, uh, the garlic, and I'm getting ready to make this. Probably only going to take like two minutes, one minute at the, at the least. The butter is all melted, so now I'm just going to add in some scallions in here. And that is pretty much the sauce. Um... I'm not going to add any spicy stuff because, again, there we go. I got the shrimp because they were already done cooking. This is the rest of it. I'm going to plate it in just a second. And it's pretty much done. That's the butter there. So these are the eggs here. Um, I put them in the freezer. They're nice and cold. So what I'm about to do is put some flour over these eggs. And I also have 
I'm going to put them in the breadcrumbs. I have my oil heating now, so let's just see what this becomes. Roll this around in the flour. I have to roll that around the flour. Um, these are the breadcrumbs I'm put it in. And this is the oil that we're heating up over here, so this should be fun. Okay, so I had to add an egg so the panko would stick. So, Ray. I had to. Okay, so what you're going to do is flour the egg. Ray wants to help. Flour. Mm-hmm. Okay, put in the egg. Yolk, 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 yolk. Yolk, yolk, yolk. Then you're going to put in the breadcrumb. Be very careful. Okay, here, I'm going to set it down for you. Okay, I'm going to start frying one of them. So that's just the process that we did. These are the other ones. It's edible. Yes, it's edible. So I just put like a breadcrumb in here. And they're kind of going, but not where I need it. So I'm going to wait for it to heat up a little bit more. All right, the oil is where it needed to be now. So I'm going to drop in the eggs. Okay, so we have our pasta. Butter. This is the rest of it here. Yummy. Oh, we're going to eat. Eggs are coming together somewhat. Those are the fried eggs there. Wish I can get a better look at that. I will try. Right, so this is the finished meal there. There's the pasta, crab legs, shrimp, the boiled egg, fried boiled egg, corn. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on another video. Bye.